strawberry. And today, we are going to go all the way down to the bottom of the ocean with a new book called, Do Do Do, Dogfish Saves the Ocean. If you have this book, go ahead and grab it right now so you can join us and read along. You have to stay until the very end because we have a really special guest who's coming to join us. Ready? Let's read! Dogfish Saves the Ocean, written by my friend Rita Reed, illustrated by Craig Cartwright. Swimming through the sparkling bay, Dogfish was enjoying this beautiful day. His soft, fluffy ears, his eyes big and bright, his little black whiskers all twitched with delight. <laughs> he played and splashed, not a care in the world, laughing and frolicking as he swirled and twirled. Leaping and diving, he heard a shout. Help me, help me, I must get this out. <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh no. Turtle had a straw stuck in his snout. <gasps> Dogfish was worried about Turtle indeed. He called to the others to help their friend in need. Help! <laughs> help! <laughs> they pulled and tugged. They tugged and pulled. <gasps> it finally came out with a big, huge, Turtle explained as his friends swam around. We've got big trouble, he said with a frown. <gasps> oh no, look at all that trash. That's not supposed to be in the ocean. Trash is everywhere. They swam together and were shocked. <gasps> when they saw wrappers and cans, plastic bottles and straws. <gasps> The Minnow Sisters exclaimed, We've heard that when it rains, trash flows straight into our bay. It starts in the streets and gutters and goes through the drains. Ah, oh no! Dogfish was worried. This sounds like a doom and gloom. What can we do? Our environment is in danger. Turtle comforted Dogfish with a smile across his snout. Much can be done if all of us help out. They talked about recycling and using less plastic too. If everyone joins in, we'll see our dreams come true. Uh, I'm just a little angelfish, but uh, <laughs> I can make a difference. Reusable cups and straws for me, both at home and at school. <laughs> we all love our oceans, Shark said with emotion. We are ready to proceed. Let's all help create the change, the manta rays agreed. Then, Everyone started to pick up some trash. No more trash floating in our home. Working side by side, together, they were strong. They cleaned and tidied up and sang a little song. <laughs> Recycle and reduce. Reinvent and reuse. If we follow these four R's, we can keep our ocean blue. Their world in the ocean became cleaner and brighter. They all joined together and they were excited. Squealing with delight, they cheered, hip hip hooray! While swishing their tails and fins, dancing in an under the sea parade. <gasps> wow. All together, they made a difference. This was cause for celebration. Let's keep our ocean clean for future generations. <laughs> the end. 
All right, my friends. Now that we have our thinking caps on, can you help me remember the four R's to keep the ocean clean? Ah! <laughs> Hi, dogfish. I didn't see you there. <gasps> wow, our special guest is here. Okay, dogfish, let's do the four R's. Recycle and reduce. Reinvent and reuse. If we follow these four R's, we can make the ocean blue. Yay! It's so nice to meet you, dogfish. Oh, okay. Bye. All right, my friends. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> You're right, it is time to talk to Kiwi. Hey Kiwi! What did you think about Dogfish Saves the Ocean? Oh Kiwi, that is so true. Even though we don't live underwater, we can still help keep the ocean clean by putting trash in the trash bins and reusing things like cups and water bottles. <laughs> Thanks, Kiwi. And thank you, all my friends, for joining me on another adventure. I cannot wait to see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're loving these videos as much as we love making them. Until next time, hold your head high, stay smiling, and be confident because you are amazing. Bye, friends. <laughs> See you next time.